Hey everybody, it's Dan from the Outdoor Trade Show Network. It's Sunday night. It's time for We Care You Matter. And I have the privilege tonight of pre-recording, uh, I guess, a video I did with Duffy where he talked about Berkeley's uh, winter products. And it, it, he only covered a few because Berkeley covers so many. They have a, a wide variety. Pure Fishing in Berkeley have so many products. But Duffy came down. And he had some pictures, and he we just talked. Well, Duffy, he kind of wanted to talk to everybody about fishing line and uh, some of the products that Berkeley Fishing offers to the ice fishing guys because you know we're starting to get some ice out there. I saw some pictures here that there's some there's some people out on ice. I noticed there's no snow, so I can't imagine how ice slippery that's got to be out there with no snow right now in this part of Wisconsin that that ice has got to be it's got to be and then you get a little water on it it really gets slick so with that what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the video that I did with Duffy and I hope everybody enjoys he did a great job uh, Berkeley has some really good products and I'm going to enjoy this because I get to sit back and I get to enjoy it myself Hey everybody, I'm here with Duffy, and uh, we're recording this, what are we, Thursday afternoon? Thursday afternoon. So we're afternoon. Thursday afternoon. But Duffy's going to do a presentation on, is it the winter, the winter ice fishing lures and line? We're going to take the stuff from, from Berkeley that's designed specifically for ice fishing. We're not going to do any rod and reel combinations or anything like that, okay. but just line and bait. And to give people, because I think a lot of people don't understand uh, the depth of what Berkeley does for ice fishermen. Yeah, and and they've got a lot of stuff we've all been using for 25 or 30 years or better. So with that, I'm going to turn it stuff, over to yeah. you. Yeah, some of the stuff has been around that long. So with that, Duffy's going to Duffy's going to take over and he's going to explain, show you some stuff, and and this is going to be nice. So there well, you go, Duffy. The thing I, I need to do because a lot of people don't realize this is a lot, most people have heard of Berkeley. Even the intermediate type fishing people will understand and, and recognize that trade name, but they don't understand the terminology in pure fishing. When they hear that, they go, they don't understand what that is. Mm -hmm. The term pure fishing is a term that is a big, big corporate umbrella that have bought up companies over the years and it's pretty big now. There's 15 companies under that, under that umbrella. And I just want to go through those companies very, very quickly with, of course, Berkeley being the original one and uh, one of the bigger ones. But you also have Abu Garcia. You've got Fenwick. You have Johnson. You have Mitchell, Penn, Fluger, Shakespeare, Spiderwire, Stren, Ugly Stick, Finn Nor, which are saltwater uh, reels, Grays, which is fly fishing stuff, Hardy, which is fly fishing stuff, and a company by the name of Van Stahl, which is real high-end spinning reels. So there's a lot of stuff there, and of course now instead of it just being upper Midwest or North America, it is totally around the world. There are Pure fishing products over in Australia, you don't find in the United mm -hmm. States. So that's the way it goes. So we're going to concentrate today on Berkeley, and I'm going to try to give you an idea. They have so much stuff out there. I'm sure I've missed something, mm -hmm. <laughs> but that's the way it goes. I want to start out with the line. They have four different lines that they produce that are designed specifically for ice fishing. I'm going to start out with a product called Trilene Cold Weather. This is a monofilament. You can get it anywhere from 2 pound to 12 pound test, and it usually comes in spools of 110 yards. It's very soft and supple, and it stays flexible in the cold and has very low memory, and it is designed for those monofilament jobs that you do outside. When you're outside and the wind is blowing and it's colder than hell out, that's the line you want to be using. So that is, let me show the picture of that. Let me give you the Berkeley logo first. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we go to, that's the blue 
the blue package right there, is the Berkeley cold weather. Then we move on to the Berkeley trialene micro ice. This is also a monofilament line, but it's made differently than the cold water. This is designed mainly for fishing inside a shack. Mm, gotcha. So probably a little bit warmer. Uh, this comes in weights of two to eight pound test, and the spools again are 110 yards. It's a premium mono with very low stretch, which is good for setting the hook, and it has outstanding strength per diameter. So if you're jigging for walleyes and stuff like that, and you're sitting inside your shack, or you're inside your, your shelter, no matter what it might be, that is a great line to be using. So you got the cold weather, you got the micro ice, and now we move on to trilene 100% fluorocarbon ice. This is a fluorocarbon that's made specifically for cold weather situations. And that would be, there we go, there's 100%. Uh, that comes in two to six pound spools of 75 yards, specifically designed for ice fishing. It's very thin and supple and very flexible, again in the cold, especially for a fluorocarbon. It has very low stretch, as do all fluorocarbons, and sensitive. So again, the good hook set uh, feature is, is uh, part of that. And it's almost totally invisible because of the fact that it reflect, refracts, that's with an F, refracts oh, okay. light underwater at the same angle that water does. So it becomes almost totally invisible. And the fourth one, is Fireline Micro Ice. Every, a lot of people have been exposed to Fireline. There's Fireline, there's Fireline Braid. This is Fireline Micro Ice. It's a super line, but it's again designed for ice fishing. It's so thin and you almost can't see it. it comes in two to 10 pound weights, spools of 50 yards. It's very smooth and it's stronger and thinner than mono. So again, there, if you're fishing deep water, that probably is the way you want to go. It's supple and sensitive, and the extreme exceptional strength and toughness is what you're looking at, especially if you're down a little bit deeper. Okay, so there's the four lines. The cold weather, the micro ice, those two monos, then you have the fluorocarbon ice, and then you have the Superline Fireline Micro Ice. Okay, they're all Berkeley products, all very well done, and uh, you get what you pay for on stuff like that. So uh, I guess the, the easiest way to say it is don't skimp on your line. If, you're, if ice fishing is important to you, there are other good lines out there, but I know this stuff is good. I haven't used the other stuff. Now we move into the soft baits. All right, Gulp, I don't have the Gulp logo, but I do have the Gulp Alive logo here. I also have one that's been around a long, long time, and that's Powerbait. So you've got Powerbait, you've got Gulp, and you've got Gulp Alive. The big difference between Gulp and Gulp Alive is the Gulp Alive will be consistently swimming in a solution. It gives it a lot of its uh, good smell on that. The Gulf comes in half bags or real small bags. They call them bags. I call them envelopes. That's all they are. If you, you ever go and buy uh, a small number of uh, split shot, they come in a little Ziploc bag. That's kind of what they, you can get those in. Uh, the Gulf has extreme scent dispersion. It's like 400 times. It gets out there 400 times better. And this is that number comes from uh, the scientific studies that they do out in Spirit Lake, Iowa, on all the stuff uh, made by Berkeley. Uh, the Gulp Alive comes in a jar, so now, now you've got a lot more of that liquid that it's in. So at the end of the day, you, you can take it off, you can stick mm -hmm. it back in there and recharge it. Yep. Uh, to do that, the thing you can't do with the Gulp Alive is if you have it on the hook and leave it on there, and even in the summer, and you come back into your boat or 
back into your shack the next day, it kind of takes a little bit yep. of a very sharp uh, uh, hand knife to get that yep. back off your hook. It does. <laughs> uh, the, the power baits are not like that. They're very supple. Uh, then, and the scientific studies they've done on that say that fish will hold on to that 15 times longer than they will to other plastic baits. And uh, the, so we've got the types of baits that we have. And then I want to go through very quickly. Let's put that one on there. Uh, there's so many different kinds here, whether hopefully they're in the right order here. So you have either in gulp or gulp alive or power bait, you can get the waxies. Uh, looks like a wax worm. <laughs> That's what it is. Uh, you can experiment with how you hook it. Uh, there's another version that they have called Wigglers that looks very, very much like those. Uh, we'll get to that in, in a minute. But it's about the same exact size and everything, and it works very, very well. You can get multiple fish off of that, whereas if you're using a live bait, mm -hmm. one, and it's, it's gone. And if you have a dull hook, you end up trying to hook it, and you turn it inside out. Turn them into mush. <laughs> uh, let's see, what else? we got another version here. And we have another version there. And they come scented, right? They're, oh, they're, yeah. They're this scented. is That's what I wanted to tell you. But yeah. the gulp stuff is so the good. The gulp is scented. It's scented. Uh, gulp Alive is even a little bit more scented because it's always in that in liquid. Yep. And then Power Baits has a little bit different smell and a little bit different taste. But when the fish chomp down on that, they really like it. And they're going to hold on to it mm -hmm. for quite a while. So those are the waxies. And then... We can get into, here's another, now that, that one they made uh, so that you can see it looks like a little separation in there. And what that does is give you kind of a waxworm thing, but it gives you a little bit more of a, like a, a wing, wing action. Like a, wing, a wings on it. Yeah, you yeah. can do it that way, or you could hook it through one end or the other, and then that tail's going to go tail's up and down. Move. Right. All right. There we have a power bait. Wigglers, power wigglers is what they call, and it comes in a couple of different forms. And uh, you, can, you can cut off a little bit of the head on there if you want to make it a little bit shorter, so you can play with the size that you want, because sometimes if the fish are real finicky, you don't want it real long. Uh, so you can play with that a little bit. Uh, and it comes in uh, the gulp, it comes in gulp alive, and it comes in uh, the power bait also, so you have your choice of what you want to do. Uh, let's see, the Gulp Alive maggots are right there. And again, it comes in Gulp and Gulp Alive. And now we've got a strange looking one right there. And that is the Gulp Ice Minnow Heads. Uh, there's a lot of times where, where guys that are ice fishing will actually just pinch off the head of a, of a small minnow and use that as a small bait on the end. That's what this represents, and it comes in a power bait, so you've got some, some scent and some taste to it. The big thing is the taste. When that fish bites down on it, the chances are it's not going to spit it out right away because mm -hmm. a lot of times, especially later on in the season, that's the way they get yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's move on. And this is uh, the power bait ice sword tail. And again, you can see how that tail on there is going to be able to go and be very, very active in the water. And yep. again, if you wanted to chop off some, you know, near the head or whatever to make it a little bit shorter, you're able to do that. This is a power bait sword tail, excuse me, the wishbone, we just had the sword tail. This is the wishbone, and of course all of these come in a variety of, of colors. You get dark oh, colors there's so many colors. and light colors, and you can get hung up on the colors again, and uh, I never give recommendations on colors because mm -hmm. it depends upon, is the sun out? Is it uh, getting through the ice into the water? So how, how much, much light snow, is in the water? Cover? 
what uh, is the water kind of dingy? Are you in uh, tannic stained water? Uh, the big thing to remember that when you choose a bait, the color that you choose should contrast with the background that's behind the bait. So if your bait's here like this, we don't, we don't, we don't care what it looks like down there. We care what it looks like behind. So if there's dark green weeds behind it, you probably want it to be a light color because then it stands out mm -hmm. and you have that contrast. Uh, next, we're going to go to that one. And this is a power bait ice whip worm. And this one, the tail really, mm -hmm. really, really goes up and down. So that's a good one. And the reason the bulbs are on the end, it gives you a good solid hooking yep. area uh, for what you're doing there. So that's basically what they have to offer in the soft baits for ice fishing. One part uh, of Berkeley called Johnson, if you want to put them together, uh, Johnson is another company under that corporate umbrella, and they make hard baits. Everybody's heard of the Johnson Silver Minnow. Okay, that's a Johnson product. Uh, but they also make some stuff that's applicable to ice fishing. So there we've got what we call a snare spoon. These I like. These I like uh, because of that trailer that you have on there. It really, when, when you're jigging that thing, that thing's all over the place. And you put uh, a minnow head on there or you can put a plastic on there or you can put live bait on there and that's just a little added attraction on there and of course they come in a wide variety of colors that is the Johnson snare spoon so if any of these products if you're interested in just looking at them and I'm not telling you oh, you got to go out and buy this stuff no you go and take a look and you make a judgment on that uh, but go to the pure fishing website and when you get there all the different companies are listed across the top. The ones that you want to take a look at, just click on those, and then you'll find another another litany of uh, products that'll be along the left-hand side, yep. and you go into soft baits or hard baits, and you'll be able to find this stuff. Oh, the website's stuff. great. It's great. Uh, the next one I've got on my list is a Johnny Darter. Mm -hmm. There's other companies that are making a version of this. And again, when you jig this, it'll go in a circle and it'll mm -hmm. come back to the center. Uh, you can put a little bit of uh, live bait on there if you want to. Uh, you learn how to pound it into the mud a little bit on the bottom and then zip it up a little bit. Uh, they're kind of fun to fish. Mm -hmm. That is a Johnny Darter. And then we go to a Slim Fish, a little bit bigger now. It'd be uh, Walleye and Pike, probably. Yeah, that's a good wall. And do that. Uh, I would probably put a couple of minnow heads on Caught there. perch on those. We, we, over at the river, we catch a lot of perch on those. Yeah, and it's, it's really a well-made bait. you got a ball-bearing swivel at the top. You've got the, the split ring that gives it ultimate uh, flexibility both at, at the top of the bait and at the bottom of the bait where the treble hook is hooked up on there. I have uh, uh, spoons from one company and I suggested to them that they automatically, when you sell your spoons, why don't you put a split ring at the top? Because it just gives you that much more flexibility when you're playing with that thing in the water. Mm -hmm. uh, Let me do this. I'm, there we go. Okay. And the last one that we've got on here is one that's called the Rattle Scout Spoon. And this one's got a little bit of a sound to it. Mm, okay. To do that. And again, on these... What I will do sometimes is I'll take that split ring and open it up and take that treble hook off and put that uh, a, a chain trailer on there oh, okay. with a single hook and um, use that, especially if you're going to be putting live bait on there. But live bait, the plastics, whatever you want to put on there, they work good. Uh, you pay attention to what's going on. Uh, and with these, and especially with these hard baits, especially if you have an underwater camera, uh, a few months ago, we did the the humming, or uh, the AquaView stuff, mm -hmm. and they did uh, AquaView really has a nice selection of cameras and to watch this stuff underwater. It's pretty neat. Yeah, you don't even need to fish sometimes; it's just cool to watch it. So that's it. We went through uh, the four lines from Berkeley, and 
we went through a lot of the soft baits. I think I hit on just about all of them and some of the hard baits from Johnson. And the only other thing that I want to mention is I want to put another plug in for what's happening. For those of you that are not happy about not being able to go to any shows, any, any consumer or fishing shows, that's one of the reasons Dan and I are doing this. Mm -hmm. uh, at least you got to see the shapes and, and stuff like that of, of those baits that are on there and see uh, what does a box of uh, cold weather line, Berkeley line, look like. You know, so you recognize it a little bit better. It's not as good as having that in your hands, but it's the next best mm -hmm. thing that we're going to be able to do here. And now you see that poster for the Capital City Online Muskie School, and that's going to be coming up. We're going to be running that on three consecutive weekends. You can sit at home, probably could sit in your underwear and do it mm -hmm. if you wanted to with a can of beer yep. <laughs> if you wanted to. And uh, the first Saturday is going to be March 20th, and there will be three different presentations. We're not quite at a point where we're going to tell you which ones are going to be on which days. We're still working out the details on that. And then you can sign up for those, and you'll have to sign up online. It'll cost you a couple of bucks for each presentation that you decide that you want to take care of. And then on the 27th of March, we're going to have a different three that are going to be on there. And then the next Saturday, which is April 3rd, there's going to be a third, another three. So, so a total of nine different presentations. You can watch all of them. You can watch one. We're working on ways to do uh, a door prize. Doing raffles online is illegal. So we're not going to do any raffles, but we can do a door prize. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to work on doing that. We've got a lot of stuff that we want to give away. So keep that in mind. And now, instead of just pretty much the southern half of the state of Wisconsin, a few people from Illinois, a few people from Indiana or Michigan, now, if you've got a friend that's an avid muskie fisherman and he lives in England, he's going to be able to be part of the muskie school because we're going to do this over Zoom. Anybody can do it. And we can have, if you look at nine different presentations, we could potentially have 900 different people taking advantage yeah. of the Capital City Muskie School. So the thing I'm going to tell everybody is keep your eyes open, keep your ears open, and sometime shortly after the first of the year, we're going to really start sending out the details on this. My, my end of it is I, I get the pleasure of... Uh, editing all the video and Dan's the one that's uh, my cameraman for that and he's doing a good job with that. We're having fun. Yeah, we do it and you'll see the same background on a lot of those shots <laughs> that you see here. We've also got some big name guys and I'm going to, don't tell anybody yet, but soon you'll be able to find out who the big names are that are going to be making presentations at the 2021 Capital City Online Muskie School and we're really looking at this being an outstanding, especially for our first time after it. Holy cow. If we ever have to do it again, we're going to really be good at it. <laughs> so at that, I'm done. Uh, unfortunately, we're doing this ahead of time. And Dan's going to be putting it on on Sunday. So we don't have an opportunity right now for people to take questions, for us right. to take questions. But they can always get a hold of you. They can always get a hold of us. It's yeah. easy to get a hold of us. If get you a hold got of, questions, get we'll a hold, take care of you. Get a hold of Dan, and he can give you my contact information yeah. if, uh, if you need that. And I'll do whatever I can to help you out. Yeah. Uh, so hopefully you have a little bit better idea of what Berkeley has to offer in the line of stuff for ice fishing. You can go to the Shakespeare part of the the website, and you won't believe the number How of rods, reels, combos. There's some on the Fenwick website. There's some on the Abu Garcia website. There's some on the Berkeley mm -hmm. website. Uh, I mean, if if you're a if you're a ugly stick guy, mm -hmm. you can get an ugly stick ice fishing combo mm -hmm. to do that. Uh, you can work up to Veritas. You can go up to a Fenwick world class ice fishing rod. Mm -hmm. It's going to cost you a couple of bucks, but boy, you're talking about quality. So anything from a real basic product to a really high-end product, we've got it. It's all it. there. Okay.
So with that, we're going to say goodbye. You bet. Say goodnight. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Enjoy Duffy. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, Duffy. That was nice. We did, we pre-recorded that, I think, on Thursday. That was nice. Thank you, Duffy. And uh, let me go back to what he was talking about. Go to berkeleyfishing.com. Go to Pure Fishing. You know, Berkeley Fishing, Pure Fishing. You'll see so many products that you've seen in the stores that you, we've all had used and been around. These are many, many name brand products that are there. They got a lot of good stuff. Duffy just went over the winter stuff. It was great. There's a lot more there. Um, I wanted to say to Paul, I need to talk, uh, Paul Coot Williams, I want to do, uh, Paul, I'd like to do a bunch of these. I've been meaning to call you. I'm constantly, I got to call Coot, I got to call Coot. So I'm going to call you probably later this afternoon. I'll go for my walk here. Carlos, I'll give you a holler. I know you're on your way back from drills. And the other one is this. That was so easy to do. Even if you do a video and you're not around here, I can send you a link. Uh, you can be on here with me. You can do a video and send it to me. This technology is fantastic with what we're doing here. I want to talk about your products. I want to talk about your service. It has to do with the outdoors. And the technology just keeps getting better. And it, it just, it, I enjoy this. So Duffy, that was great. Thank you. Uh, Duffy's always, always full of information. And, and I enjoy doing stuff with Duffy. And I also would like to, I know he mentioned it two or three times doing it. The Muskie School and I guess we'll go to that again. The Capital City Online Muskie School. You know, I've been trying to help out as much as I can. I'd like to see everybody in the muskie business help Duffy out here. Let's all kind of come together. Let's do, let's everybody pitch in and help Duffy out. I guess that's what I'd like to say. And with that, next week, I'm hoping I'm going to talk about ammo that we got for sale. We should have ammo for sale. I'm going to, sh I'm going to show you what we got. And I'm going to tell you what, what we got, what we're going to be offering um, if you go to Red Legion Munitions, you know, you're going to be able to buy ammo next week. So we're going to have a nice packages put together and, uh, that, that should be next week. So we carry you matter next Sunday. We're going to talk about, uh, ammo that we're going to have for sale with that. I want to say thank you. Thank you, Duffy. And, and anybody else out there, if you got product service that has to do with the outdoors and you'd like to talk about it, or I just want to share it with everybody. I want to, I want to see what you got. I want to talk about what you got. I want to share, uh, uh, Share share your product. Share what you got with it. It has to do with the outdoors. So with that, I want to say thank you. Good night, everybody. Join me next week. And uh, thank you.